It'd be so much shit. Let's get into it. Y'all see the Kansas Supreme Court said that voting is not a fundamental right. See the Minneapolis Police Department. Yes, the same police who killed George Floyd, who murdered George Floyd, are getting almost a 22% pay raise. I wonder if that's coming from the billions of dollars Biden allocated for local law enforcement. I see Amnesty International issued a statement opposing Biden's immigration policy. And it says here, quote, it's deeply disappointing to see President Biden so hell bent on dismantling human rights. Didn't have that on my bingo card. For people seeking asylum and implementing policies that are plainly illegal under international refugee law. Did y'all see that we were dismantling international law? No, nah, when I said we was dismantling international law, it was for real. He is full on police, law enforcement officials coming out in support now of convicted felons being in the White House, but you know, only some kind. This tiny ass chat on in Texas bragging about a 700,000 tank. It's like 100,000 people in that town. I just, how your healthcare bills looking? Y'all see that blue and white country was targeting black people over here with a disinformation campaign trying to propagandize them with pro-blue and white and anti-Arab information. See that the security detail at the Democratic National Convention was saying that just because you're protesting peacefully doesn't mean it's protected by the First Amendment, even though... I'm a whole lawyer who took a specific class in First Amendment law. And I remember, I remember, I remember saying peaceful protest is protected by the First Amendment. Like, that's a thing we say, right? The United States Supreme Court ruled that it's legal for Black women to get less than 1% of all venture capital funds. But it's illegal to help those Black women improve their access to such funds and the viability of their businesses using a law that was designed for Black people to receive equal protection. When I tell you it's an upside-down world, I ain't saying nothing you don't know. Did y'all see there are a number of people resigning from the State Department in protest of how they're uh, lying about the genocide. This one particularly is a Jewish State Department official who was resigning and he gave an interview. It was quite illuminating. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, I would encourage you to go look it up. Did y'all see that daddy at graduation who rushed the stage so his daughter didn't have to shake the hand of a black man? Biden completely reversed course on his immigration policy and is now denying asylum seekers access. That's what the Amnesty International um, statement that I talked about earlier in this video was about. Did y'all see this? I'm not going to give more details just because you know how they be suppressing our videos. But did y'all see this? Did y'all see this? This is unprecedented. As, as a law professor, as someone who's been in legal academia, someone who's been a dean, unprecedented okay the Atlanta didn't have no access to water but they got lots of money for cops in cities and cities with cops they got lots of money for that but no water did y'all see that the state department falsified a report make uh, to make it look like blue and white country was not uh, inhibiting access to aid this was part of why the state officials are resigning y'all know them um pum pums she was signing she also made a bunch of money off of it's really too much stuff i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here just know you know it's a lot going on